Good morning and hope you all have been well. In today's video, we are going to be continuing on with our Pokemon Desolation Let's Play. And this is part 29 of the Let's Play, just to let you guys know. Uh, so yeah, so with that being said, let us go on ahead and talk to Aurora. Alon. I understand that you must be confused. You've been asleep for a long time. I I don't know how to explain it all. Like me, Alon, you were stuck in a dream. We were both gone for a really long time. All that business with Nova and I and Shiv being hurt, it doesn't matter now. What matters is that we're finally awake, both of us. It was just a dream. It was so strange, I was asleep in the same dream as you, but it all felt like a blur. Throughout the whole experience, I felt like there was someone guiding me, you know, trying to wake me up. But it was all so real, too real. Oh? You experienced the same th sensation. Interesting. It seems there is more to this than I initially thought. Nevertheless, Alon. This dreary land, this, this is the real world, my world. As imperfect as it is, unfortunately, in this world we have a true role to play. Hmm, I'm surprised it took you so long to realize the truth, despite your world being so utterly predictable. Okay, so, real quick, I want to go into a few things that caught my eye for a moment this is either gonna be the dumbest thing that i'm about to say or one of the most big brain things that i'm gonna be saying on this series now i do want to keep in mind that there is some certain events that have not happened yet that i don't want to get into until we get to that point even though i feel like most people that may be watching this series if anybody is probably already knows that scene and has already beaten the game to the point that it can be beaten at since it isn't fully completed uh but anyways um let me just get into my little thing for a moment i've always wondered if this actually is the real world i believe that it is possible that this actually isn't the real world but more so aurora's dream because she literally said it there a few lines ago, sorry, that this is my world. And she brings up a very interesting clue to us that she says, despite your world being so utterly predictable, stating that our world may potentially be our dream, but this whole place is her dream. Kind of an interesting idea. I know... There is some stuff that can be also said, but again, I don't want to get into stuff that we haven't gotten into yet. More so of Nova, Lilith, and I guess the elephant in the room that I won't get into just yet. Most of you probably know what I'm talking about, but um, yeah, let's uh, keep reading though. Uh, come with me, I have much to show you. I guess we'll heal here as well. So we don't get soft locked. I feel elevated as though a great weight has been lifted off of my shoulders. I feel stronger. I feel alive. Could this be what it feels like to actually be alive? Uh, sorry, Alon. I don't mean to be so dramatic. I just feel like I've been gone for so long. I haven't ever felt so rejuvenated. Bro, moment. Got a little rejuvenation reference there. I don't think it was actually intended to be a reference, but yeah. And my powers. Well, I feel stronger than ever. So that's another thing right there. I feel stronger than ever. In the other world, she was somewhat weak because Nova took a part of her. But in this world, it seems like she's much stronger at her prime, I guess you can say i don't know how else to word it but clearly she has her powers and with the whole dream theory that this is also her dream and not the real world 
is um who was it again garrett it was garrett before we got teleported to this place garrett literally said yo in the archives they're normal kids there's nothing special about them they're not gods they're not anything like that you could say they're cursed beings yeah i think that's how he worded it but they are literally normal however anything is possible in the dream which tells me this is still a dream this isn't the real world it's her dream she can still do whatever she wants and it's such an interesting twist if that is what this all is because it is stated for honestly a lot of the area that this is the real world but i i question that as well i don't know if it truly is the real world i feel like it's more so aurora's dream because she still has the powers she got literally or sorry she literally got rid of the tree right there and she said it before i still have my powers i'm still vibing i don't know maybe i'm being stupid that's always possible but just something very interesting that i've thought about when she said that few uh, lines there uh, just as i remembered perhaps now that you're awake alon you might be able to become like me let's keep going now clearly there is something special about us i don't know entirely what it is i mean clearly we can make a dream happen you know but there's got to be more to us though uh, this forest well how do i explain it you and i aren't the only ones to wake up you see this forest was once in a deep deep slumber the entire village slept and would not wake up no one knows how or why it began but everyone that entered the forest would simply fall asleep and so people stopped coming this place became feared and eventually abandoned they dubbed it the dreamscape in the end, with no one on its way, we were left for dead. Yet despite being without food and water for so long, and being stuck in slumber without an end, Shiv and I woke up to this world once again. Then we proceeded to wake up the rest of the village. Of course, we were celebrated. They called us dreamers, as ironic as that is, to think that we would fall asleep again. I suppose we are just dreamers, huh? Not that it's any different from you. I suppose it's good to be back at least. At least our powers remained intact, I couldn't imagine being a part of the common riffraff. Now... Actually, no, I can't say that. That's spoiler stuff. Never mind. Our powers, we don't know where they came from, Alon. No one guided us, I thought they were a curse at first. I now understand that they were... They are a gift, sorry. Nature is only really interesting to me when I have complete control over it. Gotta stay, gotta stay entertained somehow, right? Yeah, I mean, she literally turned the bush into a turtle. I don't believe that this is actually the real world. Maybe it is. I, again, I, I don't know. But, but what is also interesting with all of this is the whole dream twist and all of that. It's really unique because it is like an actual thing. I, th I, I forgot the actual um, term for it. Um, I, I don't remember what it's called. But there's like a state that you can get into. Some people can actually get into it. Some, it's pretty rare. But... It's like a state that you can literally do whatever you want. That it's not like, you know, sometimes you have like those dreams of just random nonsense. Or sometimes you're in a dream as well, but like you're running in place, you can't do anything about it. Or, I don't know, you're falling, but again, can't do nothing. Not entirely like that, but more so you can literally do whatever you want. I think that's what they're trying to go for for this game, and I think it's a really unique idea as well, honestly. I would say the closest thing to dream stuff that I've encountered is- actually, it's not really like dream stuff. More so like sleep paralysis stuff. I do get that somewhat common, uh, commonly, however you want to word that, but I can only maybe think of like a couple of times that I've actually had like complete control 
over a dream. Other than that, usually I don't remember anything. Or sometimes I do, but then forget about it. I don't know. But overall, let me stop ranting there. It's a really cool idea overall. A turt twig. Not really what I wanted. No matter. See, that's another thing that's interesting. She has somewhat control, but it's not like she can spawn Palkia, Garatina, or some broken Pokemon. So there is like a restraint to it because she literally said it's not what I wanted. I don't know. This world is ours for the taking, Alon. Wouldn't you say that's far better than dilly-dallying in a fake one? Or maybe it is, like... I, I don't know. I, I don't know. This game is, of course, mu much shorter than Rejuven Reborn, but it's so unique. It has a lot of, like, loopholes and twists and all of that. It's so cool. I just love it. I love this game a lot. Home is just down this path. Thank goodness this awful journey is almost over with. I can finally see him again. Well, Alon, do you understand the gravity of the situation yet? Your whole world, your perception of everything you were wrong all this time. This is, after all, reality. Everything you've done was it for nothing? Then again, if you become like me, like Shiv, Reality can, of course, be whatever you desire. Well, well, how did I notice you still have your Pokemon from the dream? Maybe then, like Shiv and I, you must be a natural at this. Well then, I suppose we better continue this conversation, but not here. Come on, let's go to my place. Considering that you can't remember anything, it's not like you have much else to do. Hurry up, would you? Uh, will do. There isn't a... No, there isn't. I don't know. I I've said it a million times. I, I love Desolation so much. It's such a fun game overall. Oh, there's quite a few Pokemon I want to capture here. Let me... Uh, save here. Now, if I'm not mistaken... We come back here twice. So I guess I could wait on this guy. I guess it don't really matter. We'll capture it. Cool, cool. Uh, what do I... Oh, that's right. Shimmer. Just like Rejuvenation. Or rejuvenation. Just like Reborn. Uh, Mistrevis. I think there's actually like quite a few good Pokemon around here. I might on my own time uh, go around here and capture some of them on my own time. I think that's what I will probably do. Nothing there. Alrighty. Alon, there you are. I don't know how to say this humbly, but this little haven is what I call home. Some might call it a manor or even a small castle. Like that in the dream, this is our family home, Alon. Obviously, you can stay here. I'm sure there's more than enough space. Shiv is here in this manor like you. He has been asleep for a long time. For a while, sorry. He went into the dream to search for you, but like the both of us, he was hopelessly lost to it. I can only assume that because you're awake, he will be as well. Well, at least, I hope. I know this whole thing is a lot to handle at once Alon. All the questions, what's real, what's fake, I used to be the same, and it's still difficult for me. It'll work out, I always work stuff out. And if you want to harness the same powers I have, you will too. For now, just take it slow. Let's go and meet my brother, shall we? Sounds like a plan. But, uh, real quick. There's, um... There's a few things I want to do here. Okay, 
Okay, so that takes you there. Okay, so... If I am not mistaken, this is another very crucial thing to getting the perfect ending. Alrighty, so... Voice crack there. Uh, sorry for the pause there, I had to go take my dog out for a walk. But anyways though, um, getting the perfect ending. So, in order to get the perfect ending from then on, there is a point system. And you need, if I am not mistaken, nine points total. If I'm not mistaken, whenever you get to a certain thing, I believe it says something that a certain curiosity washes over you. It's like something like that. When you get that a sentence on a certain something, that is one point towards getting the perfect ending. It is very crucial if you are trying to go for that ending that you do do all nine. Now, I brought it up before. If you do the whole archive thing that I brought up an episode or two ago, I don't remember when it was, it subtracts it from nine to seven points that are required. I plan to on this series to do all nine regardless. Hopefully. Because um, I don't 100% remember how to do all nine. But I do plan to do all nine. And just find out what to do about it. I feel like I worded that all weird. Sorry. But um, yeah. Uh, but anyways. I believe there are four or five that are inside the manor. We're going to go ahead and do that real quick. Now we do come back here a second time. I could do it on the second playthrough but or second playthrough the next episode that we come back to this area again i'm just gonna get this out of the way now and i'm gonna re-say it again once we come back here a second time a small page is sticking out of the shelf it must have been put here with haste as if it was as it is quite crumpled sorry it appears to be a note to someone. Shiv, I think I've done it. It obviously took me a lot of work, so you owe me one. Oh well. At least the house is exactly as you described. It's not very original, is it? The rest is too faded to read. A feeling of curiosity washes over you. So once you get this purple text, that is one point that you gain for the perfect ending. Now... I'm going to write the word house here and have a little tally system so I remember that I have done it. Underneath the paper you see a raised panel on the bookshelf. Press the panel. You hear a sound in the distance. I think there are a few other books. I don't think these ones have the points added to them but you can read them, read them for story. Uh, stuff. My darling brother Shiv, he has been asleep for a long time. I am beginning to fear for him. We have tried all of our lives to end this nightmare to wake up and move on, but of course something always gets in the way. I hope he wakes up. I pray for it so that we can finally get on out of here. I want to move on. Why would I wake up when it's so wondrously beautiful here? The dream, it's where we were meant to be all along. Of course there are those that would try to stop our reign, but with the right help anything is possible. Is it time then to go deeper? Dream Warping Part 1 Dreams are curious things. Biologically, they are a series of images and emotions that are typically occurred during the REM stage of sleep. This is, of course, when the brain is most active during sleep. It is said that if you awaken during the REM stage of sleep, you are more than likely to remember your dream. It's interesting, however, to consider this. Why do dreams exist? If dreams have no function, why has evolution not absolved them from us? It's quite simple, really. They do have a function. One that is simply yet to be understood. Well, by all except for you and I. Otherwise, you wouldn't be reading this, would you? Yeah, yeah. 
Alrighty, so let's go to the other room. You need to be aware, Shiv. I found someone there. Different. I can't quite put my finger on it, on it. But if I had to pick, it'd be them. They might have the abilities required for, of us. Contact me as soon as you can. Okay, so that is number two. Whoops. And that is what the panel opened up, by the way. Uh, dream Warping Part 2. Over time, I learned not only to realize I was dreaming, but also to control my dreams, that essence, that power. If we can have that in the dream through sheer force of will simply because it's our world, what's stopping me from sharing the same philosophy here? The dream never ends to end. Never seems to end. Never needs to end, sorry. It's someone's diary that aim is scratched out. The dream, it's incredible. I've seen so much more than I could possibly imagine. The powers I develop, everything I can do. This is simply beyond belief. Perhaps there is a way I can become even stronger. It's all about the dream. Many pages have been ripped out beyond this point. The final page reads, and no matter what, the dream will go on. Alrighty, and this is number three. Shiv, where have you gone? Don't leave me all alone. The dream, this whole thing, we are truly in control. Our powers say one thing, but my mind, this insecurity. Please come home. Come back before... Oh, whoops. I will gladly take that. Okay, so that's three. I think there's a few more upstairs. If I'm not mistaken, there's four or five. I believe five, but we'll find out soon. Apologies for the mess alone. Before you arrived, I had no idea whether the two of you would wake. You could say I was somewhat overzealous in finding a solution. No matter, here we are. Let's go upstairs and meet my brother. I'm sure he's quite groggy having slept for so long. Okay, here we go. Here's number four. The dream. It has cracks and anyone can find them. Hiding them is no easy feat. Those within the dream will eventually uncover these errors and their existence will be brought into question. I suppose it's not them that matter, is it? The rest is too faded to read. So that is number four. And here's number five. We were all being watched. This time we cannot fail. Look what became of the last failure. She's unstoppable. What will happen to the next? Let's try our best not to find out. Alrighty. And that is all five. It's a brightly labeled diary. The label reads Aurora's diary. It is our destiny to endure this torture, to never be free, all this power, and still no way out. We need help, but who, I wonder. Shiv and Nova, they always mentioned, of course, that Pokemon. If only we were focused on the dream, then we would have realized that we all... That we of all people, we never needed the stone. The rest is too faded. I want to read this again. She's unstoppable. What will happen to the next? I wonder what it means by she. I don't think it's referring to Lilith. Not sure. Shiv, come on now. Alan is awake, Shiv. That means it's time for you to wake up too. If only we could end this miserable nightmare, I escape, but Aurora, I will find her. This time, we'll both be free. Indeed, Nova's done a great misdeed, but we can't bear the weight of her mistakes forever. Shiv? Please, not again. Shiv? 
this doesn't make any sense. I just, I don't get it. No matter what I do, I can't seem to wake him up. What if he, what if Shiv... Sorry, Alon. I didn't mean for you to have to hear any of that. Shiv has been in a deep slumber for a long time now, not unlike yourself. We all have, really. I realized that even I was dreaming after our confrontation with Nova. These last few weeks, they've been rough. I feel like we're so close, but so far. Look, Shiv, still hasn't woken up. That means that I've got something wrong in all of this. He should be awake. He should be with me right now. There's a missing piece to this puzzle. Shiv, I'll figure out what's happening. You can count on it. Alon, if you don't mind, if you like some time alone, I'll do some research. I'll try and understand this madness a bit more. You, on the other hand, there's a town south of here called Otis Village. They have many knowledgeable people there. I would be pleased if you went and did your own research. Perhaps you could visit the town hall. The minister, the head of the village, that is, might know something. I wouldn't be surprised if he had some kind of idea. You know, they all woke up to at some point. They all been through what we have. They just lack the abilities of my brother and I. In any case, ask around, find some answers. The world around us, the dreamscape, it's where everyone has awoken and learned to restart their lives. For some, it's a simple it's a simple and welcome transition. For others, they just realize that an entire lifetime was meaningless. I'm sure you want to help as many people as you can, but we have priorities here. Please don't be gone long. Alrighty. Sounds like a plan. But again, I, I cannot stress it enough. If you are trying to go for the perfect ending, it is important that you do what I brought up before, reading all the books and getting, well, sorry, the scraps of paper in here. There's five total. Allow the curiosity to wash over your face and then you're good to go. And again, you need nine total. It is very strict that you cannot miss any of them unless you have done the whole archive thing that instead of nine only seven is required don't be a fool you need to learn and soon not all is what it see i would assume that is meant to say seems to be oh hey tristan I'm bet I'm the last person you thought you'd see today. I'm sure, sorry, it sure has been a while, hasn't it? Alon, it's good to see you. I know there's a lot to explain, isn't there? What happened to me where I went, everything that's gone on since. Boy, oh boy. Honestly, I don't even know where to start. Come on, follow me. This little town is called Otis Village. Some of the folk in different cities call this place the Sleepy Village for obvious reasons. It is here that people began to fall into a deep sleep and forgot who they were. People would be cast off into another world, much like the one you were in. Some of these people woke up rather quickly and others, like yourself, were less fortunate. And for those that woke up, how can you move on with your life after something like that? In reality, only a few hours passed, but in our minds, in the dream, years, decades, even, some people in this village live completely new lives. Strange, isn't it, that the trainer that preplexed me most in the dream would be one of the last to awaken? Of course, you might be wondering my whole role in this. Lopunny and I, we intentionally entered the dream with the goal of saving the people that lived here. Now. Actually, no, take that back. I'm not going to say it. Uh, we wanted to bring this village home, but things went wrong. Like many others, Lopunny and I fell deep into the dream. We couldn't remember ourselves, our reality. It was like hitting the reset. But there was something about you, Alon. It made me remember I needed to tell you what was happening. Needed to wake you up. But just like that, I myself woke up. And here we are. The dream still lurks, so it appears there's a lot of work to do. Is there anything you need? 
Oh, Shiv, yes, he and his sister, they live in the manor just north of here. Yes, Shiv is yet to wake. I'm not sure what could be going on. Usually one experiences a amount of clarity and then awakens. Perhaps something in the dream preoccupies him. I don't know. Ask around the village. I'm sure someone can help you. And Alon, I know this is all very surreal, so just bear with me, okay? How could this have happened to so many people? This dream, I swear I will solve it. I swear I will find what, sort of, what started this mess. You and me together, Alon. Actually, I'm curious. Maybe we actually can. Or maybe I'm wrong. Because I thought some of this stuff was like blocked off. But I guess actually I can actually get all of the curiosity points here. Maybe question mark. Okay, this is the manor. Maybe I'm going crazy. There's this here. Let me check the guide actually real quick. I... I want to know actually. Okay, so... Yeah, I was wrong. I was... I was mixing up a few things. You can do everything during the first trip and not the second trip. On the second trip, where it kind of messes you up, is if you don't do everything on the first trip, there is a certain one that cannot be done during the second trip that you come back here. Which, the reason why that trips you up is because if you have not done the whole archive thing, to get the thing subtracted from 9 to 7 that is required, you are automatically locked out of the best ending or the perfect ending. So what I'm going to do is end the video off here. I think this is a good spot to end it off because the last two videos were over an hour. This one we'll just do at a, about a half an hour. And next episode, before getting into all of this, I'm going to look around the different areas to get the rest of them. If I'm not mistaken, that's right, the house had five. I'm just going to write the word Otis, and I need four total, making it nine. I really do want to make it that I show where you get everything at. Like I said, if there is a certain one that I just cannot find, and if I do some research and can't find it, then I, I guess I won't stress too much about it. Uh, as long as we get seven out of the nine, we're going to be okay, but I would prefer to get all nine. Again, just to show people if anybody is using this as a, a guide or a let's play or something like that, I don't know, so yeah. Uh, but anyways though, that's going to be it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Good morning.